Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to solve a question of lead code that is kth smallest element in a binary search stream. This is 230th question lead code and this comes under medium category. All right. So let's start with the problem statement. Given the root of a binary search tree and an integer k, return the kth smallest value, ith index of all the values of the nodes in the tree. So basically in this question, we have given a binary search tree and a value of k and we need to return the kth smallest value in this binary search tree all right so we already know there is a property of binary search tree that leftmost element is less than the root and root is less than the rightmost element so whenever we find out the in order traversal of this binary search tree so the in order traversal is already sorted all right so what we need to do is we just need to return the kth element of that in order traversal. So let's discuss the first approach of our today's video. So in the first approach, what we will do first, we will do the in order traversal of this binary search tree. So let's initialize a vector. So vector of integer, let's name it answer and let's do a DFS traversal here. So why DFS? Let's take tree node and root. All right. So this is basically we are just finding out the in order traversal and storing it into our answer vector. All right. So let's take first check if root is null, then just return. Then just do a recursive call here. Root left and answer dot push back root value dfs root right i hope this is clear to you this is a classic in order traversal which we do in free so after this traversal this will store the values into our answer so let's just call this function here dfs root this will just store the in order traversal into our answer vector so let's return answer k minus 1 we are returning k minus 1 at index because we need to return the one index of the value so the array is 0 indexed so just we need to minus 1 here. all right so i hope this should work fine at this point yeah it's working fine so the time complexity and the space complexity of this approach is big O of n so time complexity is big O of n and space complexity is also big O of n all right now we need to optimize this approach so to optimize the approach what we will do we will just use a stack so in a stack what we will do we already know there is a property of binary search tree that the leftmost elements are always lesser than the other elements all right so what we will do, we will just store all the leftmost elements into our stack. Then we will just pop it out by k times. All right. So let's quickly discuss the another approach to solve this question. So let me just clear this. All right. So in the next approach, what we will do, we will just declare a stack of tree node. In this, we will be storing the nodes into our stack. Let's name it st. Now let's take a pointer here so let's take tree node let's name it temp which will be initialized is, is root all right now let's run a while loop until temp is not null or stack is not empty all right now let's run a while loop until we get null in the leftmost side so what we will do we will just run a while loop until temp is not null and just move left side all right so let's first push st dot push root into our stack and just move it to left side all right so root i think we need to take temp here temp because we are using temp all right so let's push temp here. all right so what we will do what we have done is we have just pushed all the left nodes into our stack now what we will do we will just uh, take first element for the we can save the topmost element from the stack so let's store temp is equal to st dot top all right now check if minus minus k is equal equal to zero if this is true we will just return 
the value of tenth node so tenth value so this we are checking because we need to pop the k nodes from here or we can say the k is smallest nodes from the stack so when we have pushed all the nodes into our stack so these nodes are basically the leftmost node if then we will just start popping out from the stack let's say the k is not equal to 0 here so what we will do we will just pop out this node from here and move the temp pointer to the right side all right so it will just pop out k times and the kth node like the value of kth node will be written from here at the end just return minus 1 from here to satisfy the syntax of c++ because we include an integer from here so i hope this should work fine let's just run it yeah it's working fine so let's just submit it yeah it's working fine so let's calculate the time and space complexity of the solution so the time complexity of the solution is bigger of h plus k because the maximum elements which we are going is the height of the tree plus the k elements all right and the space complexity of the solution is big of h because at most we will be storing the uh, h elements into our stack or we can say h nodes or the height of the tree into our stack so h is basically the height of the given tree so i hope both the approaches are clear to you if you still have any doubt in this question feel free to comment it down please like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you